Hello and welcome to Mark in the Park, the program where we talk about all the latest goings on at Urbana Park District. At Urbana Park District, you belong here. I'm Mark Schultz and we are so glad to be back doing Mark in the Park after a year of pandemic. And we're joined today by Andy Rousseau. He's the project manager for Urbana Park District and we're here in Blair Park. So Andy, why are we in Blair Park today? Well, we're in uh, Blair Park because we have a pretty exciting project coming up. It's going to uh, include a lot of uh, new play amenities, uh, new accessibility improvements, uh, a trail around the perimeter of the park. Um, it'll add some items that currently aren't in the, in the park itself, like a half-court basketball court, uh, a SUTU wall, which is kind of like a, a play wall that uh, incorporates technology and uh, we'll have a lot of different exciting things uh, to include. Now many people are going around the park and they'll say, this park is great, there's nothing wrong with it. Why are we, why are we changing it? Uh, well, I mean, we certainly agree, it's a beautiful park. There's um, still improvements to be had. There's really not a playground structure uh, within the park, so we're, we're incorporating that. And it's also a project where we wanted to incorporate some play amenities for teens and adults. And we think we've done that within this project by incorporating a challenge course and that interactive uh, play wall. We'll be getting to those in just a little bit, but um, one of the goals I think for this park, at least from what I've read the plans you've made, is to provide more connectivity throughout the park. Uh, more, pave, more paved or uh, pathway areas, is that correct? Yeah, um, when we started with our public input process and uh, really developing an overall plan for the park, one of the highest priority items was to increase trails. And so what we're going to have is an eight foot wide multi-use path that will go along every side of the exterior of the park and then a six foot wide multi-use path that will go between the two tennis courts connecting um, a lot of those new play features that are going to be added. Is it correct that uh, once it's done you'll finally be able to take a lap around the park with, a, with it totally paved? Exactly. That's uh, one of the more exciting things that's going to be happening. Currently the park has two city sidewalks along the eastern and southern sides. We're going to be adding that eight foot wide path on the western and northern side and then redoing those sidewalks to make it one full lap. Andy Rousseau is our guest today, uh, uh, project manager for Urbana Park District, and we're talking Blair Park improvements. So Andy, I think a lot of people who enjoy Blair Park as it is now are going to say, well, what's going to happen to the ball diamonds and horseshoes and, uh, and tennis courts? Are they still going to be here? Sure. Uh, we're not uh, removing any ball diamond. Uh, the horseshoes will remain. We're actually going to make them um, accessible, so there'll be a sidewalk going to um, that, that feature itself. The t-ball field on the uh, southeastern corner of the park is actually going to have some ADA improvements as well to make it more accessible. But no, uh, no play item will be touched uh, or removed, including and, the tennis courts. And you're going to add uh, and, one nice feature, uh, right. the, the hoops. Right, we'll be adding the half-court basketball hoop. Um, and as well as the new play you know, challenge course and playground. Now, there's one play feature that you're going to add, and forgive me, I can't remember the name of it. It's a unique name, and it's a unique game. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it it's a uh, practice board, and it's uh, interactive with technology. And What's it'll, its name? A uh, SUTU wall. SUTU. Yes. Okay. And uh, what it has is interactive boards that light up, based on whether you hit a tennis ball with it, a soccer ball, kick it against it, and there's different games that you can set on the board and play. And it even has connectivity where you can play against and compete against other people's scores around the world. And we actually wow. have a video I think we can share as well on that. All right, we'll be showing that. That, uh, that will go into the park and uh, we are uh, uh, excited about that. Where'd you find the SUTU? <laughs> Uh, it was actually part of our planning staff. Um, we had a presentation on some different uh, play equipment, and this was from a company called Yalp, uh, and they're out of Europe, and they have a bunch of different uh, technologically uh, more advanced type play structures that we thought we were looking for, something like that that would get 
uh, teens more excited. And with Blair being so close to the middle school and the high school, we think it's a perfect park to incorporate those types of items. Now, with um, all these features going in, I think it's important to know that you just didn't pull this um, renovation plan out of the air and, right. and just decided to come up with these ideas on your own. This was done with some uh, public input, correct? Yes, uh, just like kind of every major park renovation we do, we include a lot of public input from our advisory committee. Uh, we had a public meeting at the park as well um, where we gathered input and had people do rankings of what playgrounds they like, what play features, what are the most important amenities to include in the park, and we took all that data to help develop a concept plan for the park that then we used to uh, apply for a grant that then is helping to fund this project. And that leads right into my next question. <laughs> How are we gonna pay for this? So it's a, uh, we have received a $400,000 grant that's uh, from the state of Illinois, IDNR, and then we'll be using those funds as well as funds with our capital improvement uh, budget that we receive from uh, bond sales every year. And then those two funding sources will then pay for the entire project. That's really good news that we have funding sources that, that way and people uh, mm -hmm. and, and be able to uh, improve the park. Um, now, did the pandemic throw a monkey wrench and into any timing on this? Um, not for the most part. The Getting the grant approved and that paperwork process took a little bit longer, um, getting it through different offices at the state. Um, but other than that, it was, it's been planned for 2021 for a few years now in our capital process. So when will people start noticing uh, diggers and earth movers or sidewalks sure. being put in? Uh, so we're in the middle of May as, as we sit here today, and I think in the next week or two, uh, people will begin to see some heavy activity in the park. And uh, we anticipate construction to go through summer and should be all wrapped up by sometime in the fall of 2021. It'll be all done by this fall. Yes. That's, uh, that's good timing. Yes, yeah. Now, will, during the summer, will the park be open for people to uh, still enjoy? Yeah, the park will remain uh, open for people to use. There may be certain areas of the park that are gonna be have to, you know, the contractor will have to close off uh, as their work kind of moves around uh, and within the park. But for the most part, uh, people can still come and enjoy uh, the facilities. Now, if people have any uh, other ideas about what they'd like to see in the park, or if they have any questions about uh, any of the amenities or any of the construction that's going on, how do they get in touch uh, with the park district to uh, have those questions answered? Yeah, they can uh, certainly contact me. My phone number is at our planning and operations office, and that's 344-9583. Uh, uh, my email's uh, through our website as well, and i uh, more than happy to answer anybody's questions. This is an exciting thing for Blair Park, and, uh, and uh, we are excited to see the new things that happen because um, I don't think much has happened at Blair Park as far as upgrades in, in, for a couple years, has it? Yeah. No, nothing major. There's been some tennis court uh, repair uh, and lighting improvements, uh, some fencing work, but nothing not to this scale. And it's on a big scale and be a lot yeah. of fun to see. Yeah, absolutely. Andy Rousseau, thank you for your time today. And uh, we look forward to uh, uh, Blair Park getting a facelift. Thanks, Mark. Andy Rousseau has been our guest today. He is the project manager for Urbana Park District, talking about the Blair Park Improvement Project. Again, uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, you can call the Park District or email Andy. And uh, be sure to be watching out this summer of 2021 for Blair Park Improvement Projects. Thanks for joining us today on Mark in the Park. Have a great day.